choosing the right scale for a brewery. Consumers are becoming choosier when it comes to beer. Hobbyists and microbreweries are rising, as are craft beer sales. The market is becoming saturated, and even big brands buy off smaller craft breweries to get in the game. Because of these factors, it's important to create a quality recipe and scale production efficiently to get in the market. Scales are used throughout various stages of beer brewing, and they're a key component of successful production. In this video, we'll explain how scales are used to make beer and which ones you should pick for your operation. Why use scales when brewing beer? There are many reasons to use scales, whether for a microbrewery or an international brand. Consistency is first and foremost. If you created a beer with a special taste, you want to make sure you can recreate that taste in every bottle. If ingredients are not measured properly, the taste can be unpleasant, and the alcohol content can change. Specific weights can allow even new employees who are not familiar with a recipe to recreate the product with ease. A formula can also be tweaked more easily. Weight quantities also make recording easier. Recipes should always be written down with the exact amounts used during brewing. That helps ensure good batches get reproduced, and it can also allow brewers to find out why a recipe did not work. Measuring ingredients can also help minimize waste by ensuring the right amount of ingredients are used in correct proportions. For home and microbreweries, it can be particularly tricky to scale the right amount of yeast for a first batch, so precision is very important. Even small batches can be ruined by imprecise recipes, which spills all the ingredients, time, money and effort down the drain. Scales are also used during bottling and to fill cans or kegs. Before fermentation, wort is made by boiling the ingredients together. Because some of the water can boil away, it's important to add more water as needed during the fermentation process. Monitoring a keg's weight can help brewers ensure there is always enough water, and that the beer is not losing carbonation. The weight of bottles and their thickness can also help ensure that carbonation, when combined with temperature and agitation, does not create too much pressure, which could break the glass bottles. Moisture analyzers are used by large breweries for quality checks of ingredients such as hops, malt and barley, especially to prevent fungal contamination and quality decline during storage. Grain is also checked after the brewing process to reduce waste. Moisture analysis can also be useful when buying grains in bulk, since moisture levels can affect the grain's weight, which could make it more expensive. Checking the grain before buying it ensures the brewery is not paying more money for water weight. Why measure by weight and not by volume? Using volume might seem more intuitive since beer is liquid. However, measuring by volume is not as accurate as measuring by mass. The shape of ingredients can dictate how much fits in a cup, while density and temperature can affect a liquid's volume. Beer goes through numerous processes that can affect volume, including boiling, fermentation, and carbonation. Mass does not have to take these factors into account. That additional precision can improve the beer's taste and help brewers tweak their recipe to perfection. With a scale, you can simply put the ingredients in a container and fill it until you have the right weight. What kind of scale do you need for brewing? First and foremost, you must establish your level of production, and the weight range you will need. If a brewery focuses on seasonal flavors or taste experiments, they will weigh smaller quantities than a brewery focusing on a single product. Depending on the size of your operation, you're most likely going to need more than one scale. Usually, micro or home breweries use a compact or precision balance to measure ingredients such as hops, spices, and yeast. And a bench or floor scale for batches, kegs, mass production and bottling. Some breweries also have scales to check grain deliveries and yeast brinks. Larger breweries often have platform scales for larger batches and shipping and can buy more expensive balances that include more features that can save them time. For large amounts of shipping and receiving, pallet truck scales or pallet weighing beams offer maneuverability and heavy-duty weighing capacities. Some features to keep in mind. The tear key is very important, especially for fine spices. Some scales allow users to set preset tear weights, which is very convenient for breweries that frequently use the same containers. If you do end up using a scale with a preset tear option, it's recommended to standardize keg sizes to streamline operations. Don't forget, teared weight still counts towards filling a scale's capacity. When weighing something heavy, like a keg, you need to make sure the scale can withstand both the container's weight and the material filling it. Check weighing with audible alarms or bright displays can make bottling, kegging and shipping tasks quicker and easier. Percentage weighing is very helpful for scaling recipes, it avoids manual calculations and can be used to ratio the ingredients. 
wash down scales with an IP rating above 66 can be useful, since they're very easy to wash and can withstand frequent spills. At the very least, consider using a stainless steel pan. Strict hygienic protocols are necessary to maintain a brewery, especially because of ingredients used like sugar and yeast. Would you like some help finding the right scale for your brewery? Contact us by calling 919-776-7737 or visit our website centralcarolinascale.com.